Booty Quake here from Roller Derby Athletics. And today, in this prehab workout, I'm gonna teach you how to recruit your glutes. Friends, today we need to have an important conversation about our butts. It's true, okay, butt muscles are critically important to everything in roller derby, okay? From your stride to having strong plow stops, that comes from here, to being able to like, drive into someone and hit someone out of bounds, to staying balanced and on our skates when someone hits us. So, we are gonna learn how to fire up our glute muscles and how to strengthen them. So it's going to make us better at all of our roller derby skills and it's not gonna do any harm to your twerk game at the after party either. First thing I want you to do is engage your core. I have another video about that if you need to know more about that. Engage your stomach muscles and then squeeze your glute muscles really strongly. So squeeze your butt, clench your butt cheeks, and abs, butt, and lift. Well, let's just hang out here for a second. Uh, notice that I have a pretty much a straight line from my knees all the way to my shoulders where they hit the ground. Uh, the weight is in my heels, so I could lift up my toes. And I don't have any weight in my hands. They're just here more for balance. So now, I'm going to show you three progressions of bridge exercises. So the first one is just straight up and down. So each time you lift, I want you to go abs, butt, and then lift, and then roll down. Abs, butt, lift, and roll down. Abs, butt, lift, roll down. Squeeze your abs, squeeze your glutes, and lift. And now just take small steps one foot after the other. Notice how high I'm lifting my foot off the ground, okay? This is not like this. This doesn't help or win you any prizes. It's just a matter of transferring your weight from one foot to the other. So it doesn't have to be a big movement. Now what you'll notice is that what your body wants to do is drop that hip as soon as you lift that foot up, right? So your hip's gonna wanna twist from side to side. But what I want you to do is pretend you've got a set of shot glasses balanced on your hip bones, and you do not want to spill them. So keep your hips as even as possible. Take care to keep really, really still as you shift your weight from side to side. Once again, if you ever feel this in your hamstrings, then it's time to just lower down, take a rest, stretch it out, and then go again. Okay, so the next progression, if that was okay, is to do one-footed bridges. Here's how that looks. I want you to tuck your knee towards your chest so it's kind of just out of the way. This is also gonna protect your low back and prevent you from overextending your low back. Okay, squeeze your abs, squeeze your glute, and drive through your heel and come down. Abs, glutes, squeeze up and come down. So I'm gonna show you the exercise that we're gonna do. It's called a clamshell and you're basically gonna open your clam, hello, and then close it again, <laughs> okay? Now, just try this so you understand what I mean. If you let your upper hip open up and come back while you clamshell, it's super easy, right? It's not really doing anything. So stack yourself back up, even think about taking that top hip and putting it a fraction in front of the bottom hip, and now clamshell. Okay, so you should feel how different that feels, right? Good. So here's how this is gonna work. Similar setup to the last exercise, um, with a good crease in your hip here, um, and a nice alignment from your head to your hip. Uh, then you're gonna rotate your top foot outwards like this, flex your foot, and then kick poop off your shoe back and away from you. So you're kind of sending your knee back and your foot back at a 45 degree angle. Once again, if you open your hip out, it's not gonna do anything for you. So you have to keep your top hip uh, stacked over the other one. Uh, you can put some weight in your hand here and kick boop off your shoe. If you don't feel much happening here, think about rotating your kneecap towards the floor, but do that rotation from the hip, okay? 
So the inward rotation here is uh, what's going to give you the strengthening and uh, using those rotators and that sideways pulling muscle of your butt. All right, with those um, activating exercises out of the way, I'm going to show you one more that's a really good strengthener to kind of build on what we've just started. Before I show you the strengthening move, I wanted to tell you that I thought it was appropriate, since we were talking about our butts, that I would wear the Georgia W. Tush shorts from Pivot Star for this video. Uh, I love these shorts. They're really comfortable. They don't ride up, and they don't fall down. So if you want to find some shorts like these, for your athletic lifestyle, you can shop online at pivotstar.com. Now, here's the exercise. This is a raised rear foot lunge, sometimes also called a Bulgarian squat. Okay, so you want to kind of have your front foot far enough away that you can get down to 90 degrees and lower and come up. As you drive up, you should feel your glutes working. To make that happen, you need to be pressing through the heel of your standing foot. Your weight distribution for this is about 60-40 or 70-30 more weight to the front. Friends, that was just one butt strengthening exercise there. Obviously, there are many, many options for how to strengthen your glutes. But hopefully, if you can start with those activators that I showed you at the beginning, then the, um, the brain to booty connection will be strong and your body will be able to effectively recruit your glute muscles to use in those strengthening exercises. All right, I hope that you are checking out this video at rollerderbyathletics.com. If you found it on YouTube, then go visit the post that goes along with this because there's lots of extra information and background. And I would love to hear from you in the comments. Was one of those activators really powerful for you? Like, did you find something that you had never encountered before? Maybe the clamshells or maybe those marching bridges? Let me know in the comments on this post. I want to hear from you and find out what was challenging or what was new. So let me know. If you like this video, then feel free to share it with a friend and give it a like and uh, help one of your teammates become a stronger roller derby athlete as well. If you would like to get a weekly workout from me that is going to help you up your game with roller derby and stay strong, then you should check out the All-Star Access programs at Roller Derby Athletics. You get a workout of the week, plus you get nutrition information, access to special challenges, um, and a bunch of other fun stuff. And we have a Facebook group for support on that as well. So check it out at rollerderbyathletics.com and email me anytime if you have questions. All right, I hope you're feeling your glutes are fired up. With that, I'm Booty Quake. I just kicked your ass. Now you can go kick somebody else's.